Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist and I would like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. If you enjoy these videos, please don't hesitate to subscribe. In this video, I'm going to do a short explanation of what supination is and why it is so important. Now, to better understand supination, I think it would be easier if you went back and watched the video on pronation first because I will explain a little bit more about the, what the subtalar joint is and understanding pronation kind of gets us to the point where we can then take off with supination. So I'll leave a link to that video at the bottom of this video. Okay, we're going to start this explanation of supination with this foot model already in a pronated position. This happens every time you strike the floor. You strike the floor, the subtalar joint pronates, the arch goes down, and you absorb the shock needed to walk comfortably on the ground. At this point now, you don't really need to absorb any more shock until the next time you strike the floor. And so what happens? As you start to transfer your weight onto your other foot, you start to lift the heel. When you lift the heel, the subtalar joint is now starting to plantar flex and it starts to recover the other ranges of motion that it surrendered when it pronated. So it starts to plantar flex, invert, adduct, the opposite of pronation. Now when you supinate your foot or do all three of those motions, plantar flexion, inversion, adduction, when you do all three of those motions, what happens? The arch starts to come up. And when the arch starts to come up, the forefoot becomes rigid. This is really important because when you go to push off, well, you don't want that flexible foot that you struck the ground with. You want a rigid, strong lever arm to be able to push with. And resupinating the foot, raising that arch all the way up, allows the forefoot to become rigid. The second important thing is by raising that arch up with resupination of the subtalar joint, the ball of the foot goes all the way down. Now, when I say the ball of the foot, I mean the head of that first metatarsal. By lowering this all the way down, what does that enable our foot to do? It, it enables our big toe to be, able, to be able to articulate and bend to dorsiflex like this so we can push off the floor with a strong lever arm again. This is another very important feature of supination. And lastly, and quite obviously, resupinating the foot puts us back to the starting point where we can now pronate again once we strike the floor. So supination is actually pretty easy. If you understand pronation, supination is the opposite. Plantar flexion, inversion, adduction of the subtalar joint. And why that's important is because it raises the arch, lowers the ball of the foot, provides a rigid, strong lever arm to push with, and puts you back to the beginning for the next heel strike. Well, I hope that made things a little bit easier to understand. If, if you didn't get it, um, go back and watch the video again in slow motion, and, and maybe you'll pick it up. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Dr. Dave. I'll see you in the next video.